I don't understand why anyone still doesn't understand push-pull circuits. And I'll repeat that circuit again today. We start with a square wave signal. The voltage is 3V through limited viewership of resistance to the base of the transistor. The base gets a high level. The transistor will turn on. After conduction, the voltage of 12V above will be pulled down. When we pull it down, this is the low level. So the upper tube is closed. The lower tube is conducting. It goes low here. Then this IGT will be closed. When the output is low here, then this transistor is turned off. After the transistor is turned off, 12 volts will arrive. At this point, the tube is an NPN transistor. So it turns on. The lower tube is a PNP transistor. This is high. So it closes. Then 12 volts minus the voltage drop of a PN junction. That's 0.7 volts. It's about 1130. After a limited viewership of 10 o reaching the control pole of the IG, make EGT conduct. This is a DOD. Its function is to quickly discharge even the voltage on the parasitic capacitance between, also called an accelerating diode. This diode typically uses a shot key diode because of its fast switching speed and reduced pressure. Therefore, the commonly used model is N5819 or N5824. This resistor is mainly used to eliminate even the oscillation between signals when there is no control signal here. This is kept high by default. Leave IGBT on. If IGT is turned off in the initial state, you can put a pull-up resistor at the front end of it. The voltage here is equal to the supply voltage of the chip. 3 o'clock, 3 volts, or 5 volts. Prevent high voltage from burning out the chip. When the chip is not working, this place is always closed. Get out of class.